Hi, I'm Jillian Stavely, the Director of Culture and Land Stewardship at the Denakaya Institute. Protecting the Casca ancestral territory in Denakaya Kusan's Indigenous Protected and Conserved Area means managing these lands based on Casca values and traditions. But we often get asked what about the economic opportunities when the land is protected? There will be many opportunities as we work under the principles of a conservation economy. This means in Denike Kusan, the CASCA will take the lead in deciding how to steward the land and natural resources while creating employment opportunities and stewarding ecosystems for the benefit of future generations. One example of the conservation economy is guide outfitting. The Carey family, its Scoop Lake Outfitters, have been great land stewards while also operating a successful business. Recently, we went out to talk to them about it. My name is Tiffany Carey and my family runs Scoop Lake Outfitters. We're located in Northern BC, which potentially will be in the Dena K. Kusan protected area. It's habitat that is pretty much like it was 100 years ago. Right? There's no roads, no mining, no logging. It's just picturesque, beautiful. Words don't describe it. The trees and the grass and the animals are all part of what keeps our earth healthy. Without wildlife and healthy landscapes, we don't have a business. We do guided hunts. We have stone sheep, moose, goat, and elk, and we've been trying to get into a little bit more ecotourism. People spend the night and just, you know, go for a walk, go for a hike, enjoy nature. We've got a lot of it. <laughs> Bird watching, horseback riding, fishing. General relaxation, trying to disconnect and unwind away from your electronic device or the pace of everything else and get back to the pace that life probably should be at. These guys are a big part of it. We use one set one day, rest them the next day, change to a different set so the horses don't get exhausted because it's a lot of work on them. We rely on them to be our muscle, but you gotta respect them too, just like every animal. You know, right, Wrangler? It very much is possible to have an economy without huge extraction. There's value in the land by keeping it the same. Having a conservation economy is really about having industry that is, instead of depleting the land, is actually building it up again. And we like the idea of the IPCA because for us personally and also professionally, the whole landscape is so important. Any way that you can make sure that that is protected and thriving, it just feels like a no-brainer. It's. First Nation led, it's led by local knowledge and people who care about the land and know the land. And Casca, their love of the land will hopefully be replicated in how the IBCA is run because this is part of who they are. I'm second generation. We have two daughters and we now have our first granddaughter. She's almost a year old. You know, we hope to raise her here. And when I'm ready to pass on, I hope there's more wildlife here than when I arrived, so they can enjoy it and anybody who comes to this region can enjoy it. Scoop Lake Outfitters is one example of the kinds of economic opportunities available when land is protected. Find out more about the Denakai Kusan Indigenous Protected and Conserved Area at denakaya.com. <laughs>